So today is the 6th of June 2024 and it's important because it's the 80th anniversary of D-Day and a lot of people around the country and a lot of places are marking this with events and various things going on. Locally where I am we're on the coast so we've got a lot of coastal things, we've got some beacons being lit up, there's some firework displays and of course there's other bits and bobs going around as well as all the stuff you're seeing on the news as well. Biden's come over from America to France so also celebrating it and remembering it as well. Which of course we should do because we should remember our fallen heroes because they're the ones that give us our tomorrows. The beacons, as I said, are a local thing to us. They're sort of the, the beacons have been there for hundreds of years. They're sort of since in Napoleonic times. They're these beacons that light the way for the, on the coast. So I'm going to try and get some shots of those with the fires in if they're still alight by the time I finish work. Unfortunately, most of the fires are being lit at nine, and I finish at nine. Although there is a firework display on the beach at Margate after nine so that should be right should be able to get some of that and over the next few days i'll be going around and seeing what i can see that's being done locally and seeing if i can film some of it for you and show you what's been going on i know there's some stuff going on in the local village of cliff's end where they usually do knitting this year a woman's done some silhouettes so i want to go and have a look at them at some point okay so i've come for the fire display i was expecting a few more people than there are it doesn't seem anywhere near as busy as I thought it would be, but we shall see. Obviously, the big thing with fireworks is darkness, and um, yeah, it's not very dark at the moment, so let's see what happens. So I've been around the village of Cliffs End, I've taken pictures of the silhouettes. So actually as I was driving around taking the pictures, I got out, took a few pictures, and I met the lady who actually made them. I had a good conversation with her, a lovely lady. She actually told me that the first one she made has actually been there about four years or so, that was up by the village hall. It's against the fence for the playground. And then the others obviously she's made more for D-Day. Um, there was around about seven locations in total. There's a couple of them I couldn't find, or one of them that sort of didn't exist. There's supposed to be one by Gentex which is a fuel place, I couldn't find that. She said it was hard to find anyway, hard to see. Um, and then there's the other one she had to do in a rush. So where there's a silhouette of Tommy on the green and there's three people behind him saluting, that one she had to really, really rush. She had to do it like the Wednesday night, she finished those. Now she also told me how she made them. They're all made out of plywood, they've all been painted. She did have some help painting them and she had somebody else cut them out for them because it's not the easiest thing to do is cut out plywood to a shape. She drew them out. The way she made them, she made them with clothes. So she laid down some men's clothes, like a pair of trousers and a jumper, folded the arms in on the jumper, and then drew round those around the head, made up a head that she drew herself, and then had them cut out and then painted. Although she was saying on the soldiers hats and the hats for the people in the village saluting they were quite difficult because she couldn't lay down a hat to draw around it so she had to just do that by memory but she's done a really really good job they're brilliant they're absolutely fantastic a couple of the bits of plywood were funded by the local village hall and they all went together to do a really good celebration she also arranged the celebration for d-day which was basically having fish and chips down by the fire along the seafront and a lot of places did fish and chips only, it was the only thing you could get, because during the war, fish and chips were the only food that wasn't rationed. So that's why they did those for the D-Day celebrations. 
and also whilst I was down there outside the village hall there was some knitted soldiers on top of the letterbox which is really nice and again here in Minster as you can see behind me there's a rather nice knitted poppies poppies all over the entrance to the church and there's a few on the letterboxes as well which they normally do in this town anyway so it's nice to see people making an effort for d-day and uh, yeah something we need to remember and something children need to be taught